everybody. Today we're at Scatterjoy Acres. This is a real live working ranch nonprofit that was started by my good friend Joy back in 2005. It's home to over a hundred different animals. There's zebras and donkeys, horses, even an emu and a camel, and so many other animals. But today we're here for a little small friend who has a very big job that's very important for us. It's the honeybee. And today is a day the ranch will be adding more honeybees to their beehives and we get to see it up close. Um, this is gonna be a great adventure. Come on. This is the honeybee crossing. And up on that hill is a small bee farm where we're gonna be transferring the new bees to their homes. This is George, Dean, and Wes, the beekeepers. George has been caring for bees for over 30 years. Dean and Wes are both newbies to this adventure, only joining about two and three years ago. Today they have brought 12 boxes of bees here to the ranch, 10 of which will be introduced to their new homes here. Each one of these boxes contain about 10,000 honeybees, including one queen. That equals to almost three pounds. So with 12 boxes, there's about 120,000 bees in total in George's SUV. Now that had to be a noisy ride. Before our beekeepers can begin transferring the bees, safety comes first. They each get into a suit that helps to protect them from the bees in case they might sting. Okay, so now let's take a look at a hive. This is not a real hive, this is just a model, but we get to see how things work up close. Inside each of these hives, there's about nine to 10 of these frames that are filled with wax that allows the honeybees to put the honey in or eggs to grow into more honeybees. And here's an example. So inside one of those honeycombs, it's just a tiny egg and then it grows over time until it's a full honeybee. And then it gets to work just like the others. This will be, the bees will live in here the rest of their lives. This is theirs. If we put another box on here, that is theirs. Anything above two boxes that honey, we can steal that from them. But this is where they're starting. Now, that's what it looks like. And they will draw the comb out. They draw the comb out and draw the wax into here. And that's where they'll deposit their honey. But right now the queen will go in there and she'll lay her eggs in here. On the crates, the circle is a can of sugar water or nectar, which is what the bees use as food. This is half sugar and half water that the beekeepers made but the flowers that bees visit make this sort of thing on their own. This little silver tap is the queen bee. All of the honeybees in the hive will follow the queen bee wherever she goes and protect her. To move the bees from the crates to their new permanent homes, our beekeepers first begin by spraying them with sugar water. And they do this so they can keep the bees as calm as possible during the process. Next, they remove the can of sugar water in order to create an opening in the crate. And with a gentle tap, they knock the bees down to the bottom so that they can remove the queen bee. Then they pour them all into their new home, gently using their hands or a small brush to push them down. After that, to put the queen bee in place, they use a staple gun, which is sort of like a stapler, but bigger and it's something that only grown-ups should use. On the top goes a plastic container called a feeder, which is where the beekeepers will pour sugar water to give the bees food until the flowers officially bloom and the bees can get food on their own. This process is repeated nine more times until all of the new hives have a colony of bees to begin creating honey. But how is honey created? Well, this is where it gets a little interesting. Bees can travel up to two miles away from their hive every day in search of new flowers to get nectar. The honeybee will visit over 2,000 flowers each day. And when they land on a flower, they use their long tongue to reach all the way to the back to drink up the nectar. When they drink, this nectar goes to a special part of their tummy where it begins to process and turn the nectar into honey. After their long day of work, the bees fly back to the hive, and this is where it gets interesting. As the bees come in, they visit a processor bee, and they transfer the nectar from their mouth into the mouth of the processor bee. And they do this so that the nectar can continue to go through the process to become honey. 
Then that processor bee does the same thing with other bees until finally the nectar has become honey. Then they fill their honeycombs with the honey and their job is complete. And they do this over and over for their entire lives in order to feed new bees that are born into the hive and so that we can have honey to eat as well. Our beekeepers come each spring to add new bees to their new hives. And then in the late summer, they visit old hives and that's where they harvest their honey for people to buy and eat. That's why bees are so important because without them doing their very busy work of creating honey and pollinating a lot of the plants that we like to eat, we wouldn't have those things. So if you ever see a bee in the wild, you should always leave them alone and let them to continue doing their job. That way we can keep having the yummy things that we like. And besides, wouldn't it be fun to be a bee? Just think, how simply amazing would that be? I would really like to be a busy, busy bee, buzzing away so happily. I work very hard, as you can see. That's a bee, a honey bee. That's a bee, a honey bee. They leave from their hives each and every day to visit all the flowers. There's no time to play. They bring back nectar for the family. That's a bee. That's a bee, a honey bee. Bees are small but have a really big task. They pollinate the plants and it makes me glad because it helps to grow the food we love to eat. That's a bee, a honey bee. That's a bee, a honey bee. I would really like to be a busy, busy bee, buzzing away so happily. I work very hard as you can see. That's a bee. A honey bee, that's a bee, a honey bee. One, two, three, four, we are marching out the door. Five, six, seven, eight, we help plants to pollinate. Eight, seven, six, five, bring back nectar for the hive. Four, three, two, one, we won't rest until we're done. I would really like to be a busy, busy bee, buzzing away so happily. I work very hard, as you can see, that's a bee. A honey bee, that's a bee, a honey 